man, it's just so beautiful this morning. I think I'm about an hour from my destination on the Isle of Skye. I've been driving for two and a half hours. So just needed to stretch my legs a little. I found this gorgeous overlook. Oof, it's chilly. Isle of Sky. Currently I'm having so much fun just wandering around the rocks and finding cool abstract shapes. It's just such a beautiful evening. My face is numb. I'm so glad I brought this. I think I have about two hours until sunset. So I'm kind of just planning on hanging out here, taking photos and videos and sketching. I don't want to rush it because this is the first time I've been to El Gal without insane weather. <laughs> and I just, it's just epic. A lot of people who watch my art channel will know that I'm obsessed with rocks and drawing rocks and I could just spend all day at a place like this. One thing I found really fascinating is when I'm looking down at the rocks, it almost looks like I'm looking at mountain peaks depending on the angle. I'll, I'll insert a few photos so you can see what I mean, but it, but it looks like, you know, the peaks of mountains and I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> I am currently at Honeycomb Rock and you can see why it's named that. This section of the cliff has been eroded over time and reveals all these amazing little caverns, little honeycomb shapes, I guess they call them. But I think I need to ask my brother why this happened or what it is. <laughs> He's a geologist. I would be fascinated to hear about this effect. My goal with this photography trip was to capture details and textures and colors, things that I hadn't seen before at this location, not just for my own photography portfolio, but for my painting. I like to capture all sorts of interesting angles and almost abstract or fantasy-like versions of the landscape because that's what really inspires me when I'm back in the studio. But of course, there's also certain shots that I've had in my mind for years, but the conditions were never right, until now. A lot of photographers sit in this exact spot and take the same photo. And if you Google this location, you'll find thousands of similar images. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about competition. I don't make a living with my photography. I just do it for fun. And it's a way for me to connect with nature on a deeper level and remember some of my favorite places. I find the tools and creativity required for photography to be a really fun challenge. And as I've mentioned before, I like to paint from my own images. So having a lot of images of all sorts of different details and angles from a single location is ideal for me. As all photographers know, the sun sets in a blink of an eye. So I was constantly switching between the mountain view and the sunset view because the colors were just stunning everywhere I looked.
sunset is well over, but I keep meaning to leave and then I see something amazing and I have to stop and take photos and videos again. I've got a little time lapse now. The colors are just cotton candy, you know? Perfection. So gorgeous. This is gonna be like years of painting inspiration. <laughs> After a four hour drive and three hours of hopping around the rocks at Elgol, it was finally time to rest and spend a bit of time relaxing and distilling all of the beauty I witnessed. But this was just day one of three. Join me next week at the mighty Kulin Mountains on perhaps one of my favorite hikes on Sky. As always, it was a bit of an adventure with some ups and downs. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.